This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 644 of Horse Tip Daily. A different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is brought to you by Kentucky Performance Products, makers of Summer Games and Summer Games Plus Electrolytes. Beat the heat with Summer Games. Greetings, horse people. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily. Today's tip is an excerpt from the Western Radio Show right here on the Horse Radio Network, episode number 104. Tammy and Alan bring us some of their top rider pet peeves regarding not-so-safe horse handling. And you know how it is with pet peeves. They go on and on. But first, let's hear from our sponsor, Kentucky Performance Products, maker of Summer Games and Summer Games Plus Electrolytes. How is Summer Games different from other electrolyte products? Summer Games Plus contains the same electrolyte formulation as Summer Games Electrolyte, which was originally formulated for the horses competing at the 1996 Olympics. The formulation was based on the results of research conducted in anticipation of the Games, which were held in Atlanta, Georgia, known for its hot, humid summers. Summer Games mimics the composition of equine sweat, supplying the horse with the exact amounts and ratios of electrolytes relinquished in sweat. Summer Games Plus contains no sugar, like many popular commercial electrolyte supplements. Summer Games Plus also contains a buffering agent that helps create a soothing gastric environment. This is especially important for horses subjected to the stresses often related to top performance, such as exertion, transportation, and unfamiliar stabling atmospheres. Ask for Summer Games and Summer Games Plus electrolytes at your local tack and feed supplier, or visit kppusa.com. Now, on with today's tip. You know, I've, I've asked you before uh, about any type of pet peeves you had. Now, when you're at a show and when you're at a shoot uh, or when you, when you go to the Actha Trail Ride, and, and this is just something for, for me, I don't know why, it just, it just bugs Spit the Spit it out. out. Like, uh, like ropers, barrel racers, they have the roping reins, they have the barrel racing reins, you know, they're really short, uh-huh. and uh, sometimes they'll throw them over the ears and just let them hang down, and they're still connected to both sides of the bits. Uh, mm-hmm. With a huge loop out front, if that horse was to step up, uh, or you oh, know. oh, that remind, reminds me of a pet peeve, Ellen. Okay, I know where you're going with this. My pet peeve is to see a tie down on a horse with no breast collar. Is that what you're talking about? I hate that. Well, that's it. it's in the same realm of a pet peeve, but you, I mean, you know, when you get a lot of knee action and a lot of front feet. Uh, Coming well, he just has to put down. his head down to yeah. go eat grass when you're leading him, step and he can it. step through it, flip over backwards. Seen it before. Yeah. I hate that, Alan. Yeah, but I just can't tell you how many times I've seen that, and plus people, uh, they'll just step off and uh, just uh, undo one side. they got snaps on them. Just undo one side and let it hang because uh, it can cause a horse to get it. You know, when he gets mm-hmm. his foot up there, he's going to flip himself over, could possibly just, just hit that neck just right, and uh, boom, it's over with. And uh, even further than that, uh, I always personally, uh, when I've got one tied to the trailer, like whether I'm at a rodeo or what, uh, when I get ready to get on my horse to go announce the rodeo and hopefully stay on my horse during the rodeo, uh, I untie the lead from the hook on the trailer, Mm -hmm. let the lead rope hang, take the halter off, put the bit on. And uh, then I'll, you know, throw the halter up under the edge of the trailer. I've just, I've got that same thing about a halter uh, hanging there at the side of a trailer when you're bitting your horse or whatnot. If he, if something was to happen, he's to rear it up and get a foot in it. I mean, that's a wreck too. Oh, Ellen, I, that is another one of my peeves. Whenever someone's in my arena at home and they're riding and that halter is hanging, yeah. it either has to be unclipped on the ground or right. flip it onto the other side of the fence because... All you need to do is to have someone light pass and get their foot stuck in that halter or a horse caught in there or something caught in that. So I'm I'm pretty laid back person, but that's two things that aggravate me. Tie downs with no breast collars and hanging halters. Absolutely. And it's all about the horse safety and it's all about just common sense. So uh, I guess that's just our uh, – and, and to take a quote from uh, horseradionetwork.com because there is a show over there that Coach Jen does uh, called uh, – 
what is it, daily tip or whatever. I guess that's Glenn uh-huh. and them. Uh, that's that's our daily tip, and I guess we we might need to come up with one of those every week. Maybe get an idea from someone. If if you've got any tips that you'd like to share, just put them on our Facebook Western Radio Show Facebook, and uh, let's all communicate yeah. about some pet peeves, and uh, and and we'll share some ideas on the air with what your ideas are about uh, your pet peeves as well. And uh, you know, another one of my pet peeves, Alan. Not to go on about pet peeves because I know we got some great cowgirls waiting, but. Huh. Another one of my pet peeves, my Tech Saddle Blankets is one of my shooting sponsors. They give me beautiful patterned blankets. My pet peeve is people who buy these blankets and put it on crooked. So the long – do you know – You know, have you seen that in the warm-up pen when those people are riding those silly blankets and they've got the long part on the wrong – I'm like, rotate 90 degrees. Yeah, just you know? a little bit. Oh, that's – okay. You can get back on track now, Alan. That's another one of my pet peeps. Or how about somebody that throws a pad or a blanket on the back of a horse and it sets well in behind the withers and they still put the saddle up there and it's hanging over the front of the, the blanket and, and like three, mm-hmm. two-thirds of it still hanging out the back over the hip? That's uh, mm-hmm. We could go on about – we could make a whole <laughs> show about pet peeves, Alan. Well, there you go. Always love listening to those two. If you just can't get enough of Tammy and Alan's southern draw and friendly banter – You can listen to them on their website at westernradioshow.com, and you can also find them on Facebook. Just search Western Radio Show, and while you're there, don't forget, post your pet peeve. Don't forget to support our sponsors here on Horse Tip Daily because they make these podcasts possible. Today's tip was brought to you by Kentucky Performance Products, makers of Summer Games and Summer Games Plus Electrolytes. Ask for Summer Games by name at your local tack and feed supplier or visit them online at kppusa.com please stop by the Horse Tip Daily Facebook page and let us know what you think of the tips you hear on the show. It's also a great place to tell us about topics you'd like to hear us cover on the show. You can subscribe to all the great shows on the Horse Radio Network through iTunes or Zoom and get your horse podcasts automatically downloaded to your iPod, Zoom, or MP3 player. You can also listen to the shows right on Facebook. The player is right there every day. I'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily.